been to a Kiddush where the one holding the cup, saying the Kiddush, says, Savri Maranan. What is he saying? He says, Savri Maranan, and everybody answers, Lechayim. What's going on over here? Well, in fact, one person, the person holding the cup, is making the blessing for everybody around. So when he's saying Savri Maranan, he's making sure that everybody's concentrating. Because Shomea Ko'one, the way it works is, it's as if I'm saying it, as if you're saying it as well. So I want to make sure that you're listening. So we say Savri Maranan. And you say, Lechaim, I'm alive, don't worry, I'm listening. There's another beautiful idea brought down in the Midrash. The Midrash says that in the olden days, when somebody was uh, in charge of uh, capital punishment, then the judges would go one last time to the witnesses and they say, Savri Maranan, they talk to the people around, what do you hold? Is he Lechaim or Lamavik? Should we paskin him to die or should we paskin him to live? They, if they said Lechaim, then he would live. If they said Lemavet, then unfortunately he would pass away. And a person who would pass away would be first sedated with wine, drink that wine so that they wouldn't really feel the pain. And therefore, at every time we say Savri Maranam, we don't want to mention anything to do with badness. We say Lechaim to life.